Hi, to set up your Redmi Note 14 5G, as a first step, turn it on by pressing the power button on the right side of the phone. Now you'll see Xiaomi Hyper OS, so simply tap the arrow and choose your language. So let me find mine, set it and go next. Now we need to choose region, so I just selected mine and let's set this region and then agree with terms and conditions. So tap here and then go next. After that, we can set up this phone using another device to transfer data. Or if you wanna set up this phone like a brand new device, you can skip this step and set it up manually. And at this point, we need to insert a SIM card. So take this ejector, which goes in a complex with a device, or you can use a needle, but be careful because you may damage the SIM slot. And now you need to find the SIM tree on the bottom of the phone, take your ejector and place in this little hole like that. Slightly press till the slot will pop up. And now just take it out using your nails. After that, you would see space for the first SIM card and for the second SIM card or micro SD card. So take your SIM card and place it on the first slot with cheap side upwards, or you can place it on the second slot like this, but I'm gonna just put it here like that, slightly press till it would be secured and won't fall out. And now just put it back in the phone and close the tray completely. So it automatically detected my SIM card and now we can connect to network. So find your network. After that, enter its password and then tap this button connect. And now we are connected, so let's go next. And now it is getting the phone ready, so this may take a few minutes. And now you can sign in your Google account. For that, enter your email or phone number, then tap next and enter password. If you wanna skip it, just tap here to skip, but I'm gonna sign in, so let me do it quickly behind the scenes and get back to you. Now we need to choose who will be using this device, you or your child, and then tap next. After that, agree with terms of service by tapping I agree and also wait a couple of seconds till it would be getting account info and we can go to the next tab. So let's just wait for it to load our information and now we can copy apps and data if you did backups before or you can choose don't copy and simply go next. Now you can agree or disagree to use location, allow scanning, send the usage and diagnostic data, and install updates and apps. And now you can enable backups. So if you don't want to lose your data in the future, then I suggest you to turn on backup and for that tap blue button. And now it is loading again. And at this point we can choose browser and search engine. So let's do it. For the browser, I'm gonna pick Google Chrome and set it as default. And for a search engine, I'm gonna pick Google. And now we can set screen lock or we can do it later in settings. So let's skip this step and continue setup. Here you got introduced to Gemini, personal AI assistant. So tap continue. Here you can turn it on. And now let's additionally change how text displays. So I'm gonna switch to me sans. I'm gonna make it bigger and more bold and save the changes. And now let's also tap next and do it again. And these are basic settings. So here you can enable or disable location, usage and diagnostic data, automatic system updates, personalized ads, user experience program, and so on. Then tap this arrow to go next. 
and if you will be using this device then go next if you are setting up this device for your child then you can turn on parental controls and follow on-screen instructions now let's switch to me sense and choose default launcher i prefer with app drawer so i'm gonna pick this one and also go next and now it is preparing system so we are just waiting till we could see setup is complete and here it is now we just need to tap this arrow and setup complete so that's basically it for today if you found this video helpful please subscribe like and comment and i wish you all the best bye bye